Hello everyone, this is Prashanta. Welcome to uh, REST API Automation using Python request. Today we are going to see the entire setup. What are the software need to be installed for manual and automation. And we are going to do our first like get the API call testing. Okay. So let's jump onto the class. So initially uh, this is the uh, site we are going to do the like all the API testing. So I will share this link in the URL. So this is the these are the APIs we are going to use in our day to day activities. And first of all, we need to know what is a get. Okay, what is the? There are a couple of methods in a REST API like uh, get call, put call, post, delete. And what is a get? So get is simply the getting the information from a server. Okay, so I will show in a real time. Like everyone uh, went to Google at least on your life, right? So this is the Google website. So see here, I'm going to type Selenium here. Okay, so before this, actually I taught you like right click. Click on the inspect. So when you click on the inspect, you need to go to the network tab. Okay, in this network tab. So after this, when you type on the selenium, okay. After typing the selenium, I'm going to click on this Google search. See here, when I click on the Google search, see this first result. Okay, in this first result, if you see, this is the URL. So whatever the URL, this is the URL. What is this method type? This method type is the get method type okay see here and what is the status code 200 i'm i will take the status codes for numbers meaning in one separate class like what are the status codes today we will concentrating on the get call okay so this is the get call this get call will giving this much of results so where how is coming from the response so from the response it's giving all the data whatever it is name as a see this Cell name with Python, cell name with Python, cell name with the main one dependency. See here, based upon the search results. Okay, so next question. So, this is the get call. Okay, so right now I'm going to implement the same get call using a swagger. Okay, so mostly nowadays all the developing team has a set like a swagger document. The swagger is contains all the APIs of that project. Okay, so in this, this faker API.NET. So this website has all the APIs. Okay, I and mean, when I get the get API, okay. So this is the domain name and this is the path. Okay. So this API v1 activity is the path. Okay. So how we are going to do? So when I run this API, he is they are telling you will get a 200 success response and you will get an array of information like ID, title, due date, and completed. So they are telling this is how it will come. So right now we are going to test. How to test? First of all, you want to click on the this try it out button. See here, the so try it out button. So when I click on try it out button, so it will enable the execute button. So right now I am going to click on the execute button. When I click on the execute button, so this gives the response. What is the response? It is 200 and these are the response body details. Okay. So what it is run? I told you earlier. This dot net is the domain and this API v1 activity is a path. So we send a get request. That get request give the response code of 200 and it's give the value this. So this is how we need to test in this Swagger document. Okay. So right now we are going to do the same Swagger document in the Postman. Before that what we need? We need a Postman tool. So what to do? For Postman tool, we need to type Postman download. So this is the official Postman website. Okay. So when I click on this Postman website, for me I am using a Mac. So that's why it's showing like Mac Intel chip or Mac Apple chip. You guys suppose using uh, like Windows or any Linux means you will see the Windows download. Okay. So you want to click on this button, it will download a exe file for Mac users, it will download a .dmg file. After that, you want to simply open it. Okay. When you open it, so this is how the one Postman tool will looks like. Okay. Right now, I'm going to create a first request. For this, I'm going to click on the new button. Click on the request. So you want to give the name. So right now, I'm going to give the activities. So this is my API name. We can give any name. Okay. And we need to store in any of a collection. So I created this folder. If you want to create a folder, click on this button. Okay. I will save it. So see this under the course, the get API call is stored. And this is the one call. 
so these are the request method types so like get post put patch delete so right now we are going to do what get call okay so that's done done next thing what we need we need a simply the insulation part for this okay so what is that insulation part so we need this url so i'm copying this url okay simply i'm copying this url and where i want to paste i want to paste in this url see this http fake dot activities okay next thing what they are telling to send me they are telling you want to accept our own header like iphon h the header and text plain so we need to attach that so in this header tab click on the header tab here type accept see this it will comes i will select the accept and what is the type i want to type a text plain text see this i selected the header so right now i selected the get method then after that i click on i selected that uh, you i give the url and i set at the header okay right now i want to send this button when i click on a sending this api will request the server and server will give the response so i am sending here see here the results came here so what is the success the, here only the status code will come in the right corner no? see this 200 okay the 200 is success code we are expecting and this is the success response messages okay so what are the other things we need to verify we need to verify the headers of response so in the header response basically it will give the data like what are the things the accept content type is json and other stuffs so if we come on the postman if you see if you want to see the response of head like headers of response means you want to click on this header this is the request part and this is the response part so see here so this is a json and it has the all the basic information whatever they expected okay so as a as a api tester we need to validate the response status res, uh, the in the, in the body what are the response messages okay so this is the two thing okay next thing i'm going to show the another api get call so this is a simple api call see here this is a parameter based get api call in this i need to pass the parameter like id so if we in see this id so every response have one id like one id 1 id 2 id 3 so in this api call we need to give some specific id so see see here so first of all what to do to work on we need to click on the try it out once click on the try it out this will enable the id so i'm giving like like 3 so id 3 when i click on this execute button it is what is happening the request is same a request is going on but as a parameter what is going as a parameter it's sending a 3 okay this is like a parameter passing okay so right now same status code is 200 and see here only last time we got all the datas right now we got only one data which is related to the id as 3 okay so this we need to do in the swagger right now the same task we are going to do in the postman okay so the same url last time what we had last time we had a simply a three is added so in the url i am going to use a three see this i am adding a three here okay send the three see here previously i have all the datas right now i am getting the datas for only for 3 okay so this is how we need to pass the parameters in this so see this it is it is printed 3 and right now we done a manual testing using a swagger and postman so right now we are going to do the automation testing using python and request so how to do first thing we need a language so what is the language we selecting we are selecting a python so i am selecting python download okay so this python.org is a official site for python so i'm going to the site click on the download button it will click after that uh, download button just click on next next yes, that is enough after the installation simply open the terminal if you are a mac user if you are a windows simply open a your command prompt and type python3 iphone version 
see this i have a 3.10 and if let us was 3.11 okay so for windows you just type python i uh, like space hyphen version is enough only mac user type python 3 okay and after that we need a editor like what is the editor so whatever uh, you need some place to type your python code right so we are going to download a pycharm okay pycharm download okay jetbrain is the official company of pycharm so i'm opening that and there is a windows mac linux whatever your os simply select that one and there are two things is professional community professional is a kind of paid version only community is enough for us as a testers so click on the download button it will download and it just open it okay that's enough okay so right now i'm going to open a pycharm so once this pycharm is opened okay we now, we are going to create a new fresh project so in this i'm going to click on the new button so in this new page i'm going to give a name like i'm going to give a api course you can give any name and automatically system will select the python whatever you download so first thing is download a python then download a pycharm i'm clicking on a create so when i click on a create this it will open our project so what's our project name api course right so that project will open next thing right now you need a you have a python you have editor next thing what we need a request right because request is a library is helping us to create a api automation okay so for that simply i'm going to type python then requests pip install pip install so it will give the pip command so basically pip stands for python packages okay so i'm going to click on this request at pip so this is the pip install request command okay i'm copying this if we click on this means it will copied okay i'm coming to the pycharm and open the see this in the below click on the terminal and paste your command when you click on the command it will install the request in your laptop see this it's a fraction of second it will install your systems okay so this is our project i'm going to create a right click new python file new and python file so this is our first get call i'm going to create a get api call so whatever name you need just give it okay so right now we create a python file in the python file i'm going to import the request see this import request see it automatically comes if it didn't come means you didn't install the request okay so sim okay so and the sim next thing is i'm going to create a request call so i'm going to create a one response variable okay equal to i'm going to call a request method in this what method we are using we are using get method in a get method so we need to pass what the url okay so what i'm going to do simply i'm going to our postman i'm copying this url i'm coming here and pasting it so i'm removing this slash 3 see this simply right now we are running our code the response stores all the data of a response okay so i'm going to print the response code see this print of response dot status code we need a status code right i have stored the response from the response i need a status code so right now i'm right click running at the get api call when i run the get api call see this at least in a manual we need to postman we need to do so many things in automation like everything in a go in a second so see this it's a 200 is a response code suppose i need a response body how do i do it so i'm going to print it print response dot get response dot like json body okay that's it so it will give all the json details see this all the details of that id1 id2 id everything okay i'm going to do a second thing what is the thing we are going to pass a slash 3 because i was i'm giving a 5 i need a id fifth id so when i run it see this the status code is 200 and it's give the data for what the fifth okay so right now we need to do a testing right right now we are seeing everything so the testing we need to do the comparing our actual and the 
expectation value so how to do it simply you can type asset asset is an inbuilt feature asset so what we have to asset i need to assert the response dot status code equal to equal to 200 if it is 200 that means it's pass so i'm asserting so right now it got passed suppose i'm mentioning 201 so i'm expecting 201 so but it obviously you guys know it will only give 200 so what is happening here the yes this is a assertion error because the status code is 200 but you are expecting 201 that's why in the line number 8 it's throwing an error so in line number 8 what we are doing we are doing assertions okay so this is the get call we are going to do now okay so other than this if you want to pass the headers so what you can do so i am creating one variable like head so in this header i am going to pass the json okay so how to pass that i am going to create a variable like on uh, in the form of json so what is this in postman you guys know i want to pass the accept as a key so because json is the key and value pair so and then in this i want to pass this text plane see here so i pass it so i have this header so how to pass the header simply put a comma over here and the header is the key in this header i want to pass the my payload like head is my in the api calls header so i will, i will pass the header okay so it is 201 is this failure so i am making it as a 200 i am running again see this it's got passed so this is how we need to pass the header in the api call okay suppose then the, uh, we have, uh, we have another means you can give a key and value pair so basically the json is what the key and value like id means value title activity file due date this completed false so the json is always the like key and value suppose you want to see an alignment means simply you can you can go to your chrome so for basically uh, to get any json alignments i try to, as a api tester we use lot go to the extensions okay so install any uh, new features like so i'm going to install a json beautifier so it will useful for uh, our most of the things okay in the api we use lot okay you can use json beautifier editor so open this editor add to chrome add the extension so it will download and add it to the chrome okay so and i will ping it so basically you keep this always with you so uh, thanks for joining in uh, if you have any doubts please put me in the comment uh, i will uh, clarify in the in the chat as well and uh, i will improve in uh, our coming classes and uh, we'll see in our uh, next post and other api calls and uh, all the reigning api things thanks for joining and uh, if you like the video please like and subscribe um, good night